How's it going guys and welcome back to the False Tech YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can turn this into this. So as you can see guys, it's customized completely. Stay tuned in this video and you'll see how to do this. I'm going to go through each and every step where that way you guys won't be confused. I look forward to having you guys along the ride. Here we go. All right guys, so to do this, there's one thing to note. This will cost you a dollar and 49 cents. Um, what we need to do is go on to Google Play Store, search for side load channel, side load channel. Alrighty, so right there, I got it installed, but that cost one dollar and forty nine cents. You purchase this, and you can do all the custom work that you just saw me do. And um, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So you'll click the side load channel. Click open. You'll be prompted with this pop up here. We'll click OK. All right, guys. So all you do is press down. You can see it where it's highlighting. It's kind of like a light box. You you can go over to settings and see what all is there. It shows your settings. What you want to do is go to this middle box. Click on that. Open edit layout. You can uh, appearance side load channel wall wallpaper. Import export configuration if you were to save your configuration. So we're going to click on this open edit layout and here is the apps you can do on the left. These are what you saw earlier. Click this plus quick add application square tile and I'm going to just select these games that I want to add here. And it is it's pretty simple. Um, very nice and easy and fluid. You can pretty much customize this in any way you would like. So bear with me here while I set all the, set this up for my games, and I'll see you in a moment. All right, guys. So I got a few games added. This is just for an example. Um, what you do, you, what you do is you come over to save, click save, and it says you want to do you want to add the channel games from sideload channel to your home screen. We'll click yes, and once you hit yes, you scroll down, and you'll see this games button here. Now as you can see my icons aren't loading up. I can go in and fix that if I would like. But if I click this, it will launch the game. I'm going to get out of it. So to customize that, you'll want to click on this right here, get us back here. I can click this, change tile image. You can create your own. You can uh, change to an included tile. And you can scroll through these. These are the default tiles that you have. I can choose any of these that I wanted. All right. So um, that's how you add the games or add something like that to remove it. It says it's just as if you was wanting to change or remove one of these. I can change the order, which I'll put right here, or I can go ahead and remove it. And guys, I'm going to show you that one more time. Uh, this will not be using this customized channels button at all. Um, you can turn this on if you would like. It will put back what I just removed. So we're going to go back to apps. We're going to open up this side load channel. And let's say you don't want this at all. So if you don't want this at all, guys, you'll just uh, highlight the game here. Remove tile. Remove tile, and you'll do that for each one, and that will clear this out like so. All right, guys, so I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to go through and uh, configure how I want mine to look, and I'll see you guys in a moment. And I'll just show you the overall view of it and let you guys just see this for yourselves and see if this is something that you would like to do. So bear with me here, and I'll do that now.
All right, guys. So as you can see, I've went through and added a media tab here. I got all of my apps on here that I use for media. Uh, what I want to do is I want to order this in a way that I normally do uh, from uh, most watched apps to least watched. So what I'm going to do now, once you've got these added, you can click on these, move tile, and I'm going to move this to position one, and there it is right there. And same goes for here. You don't have to change the row. The row. It is already set to be your row. And let me just go through and move a couple of these. All right, and it'd be just easier if I go to move tile. Move that to 10. And that's pretty, I use Terrarium TV a, quite a bit, so let's move it to two. My wife uses watches the Food Network, but this is pretty much how I would watch it in the order here, and I got the media tab. Now, I'm not sure about that icon, so I'm going to change that icon here. So let's see what icons they have, and if there's is one I want to use. So I kind of like this one right here. So I'm going to do that, and what we're going to do now... I'm going to choose media. Actually, we're going to go all the way to the right. Hit that save button. Add. Press the back. Back again. It's application. And there is my side channels. They're pretty um, pretty zoomed in, but that's, uh, that's not really something I really care about anyways. What I want to do now is continue going through my um, channels here. Add some more. And I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright guys, and if you were wondering about the application banner, I'm going to show you what that looks like now. Here are multiple games I've added for the application banner. So I'm going to hit this plus sign, large tile using application banner, scroll down, add zombie H2, and that's what that looks like. Um, now one thing to note about that is um, you can't add any side loaded games using the application banner. You have to use the actual application icon, and that's what I'm going to do next to finish out this game section. Alright guys, and that is about it for this. Um, the main thing I wanted to show you was how to create your own categories as well as add your own apps to the categories. You can mix match these if you would like. I did the banners here just to show you an example of the banners. And here you just have the icons. Uh, you can even customize this icon over here. Like right here I have the Google Play icon for Google Apps. I put my Google Apps here. And of course, I got my recommended for YouTube and my Hulu. You can even and you can even create all of these and customize them as you see fit, such as over here. You see side load channels. I can click that and I can disable them over here. And and guys, one thing I love about this is the the problem that I had with the with this update is it took away the ability to really customize it and make it yours. And that's what this app is giving you. It's giving you that back. Um, there's still things that are that I would love to see with this new update. Uh, more customization is a huge. I love customizing things, and that's very important to me. And this app has given me back my my freedom of for having the shield and be able to, be able to being able to customize it the way I wanted to.
So guys, that is it with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would uh, I would say this is well worth spending a dollar forty nine cents on. I mean, look at the possibilities; they're pretty much endless for these apps. I could have went through and customized everything to the smallest detail if I wanted to, and that's something I probably will do, just not in this video because it is getting pretty lengthy. So yeah, guys, that is it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Again, if you didn't see my update video, thank you for my new subscribers. Thank you for my old subscribers sticking around. You all are very much appreciated. You're the reason why I keep making these videos. We're going to have much more coming out soon. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys Thursday. Goodbye.